With me is Gavel Bartos Lopinski. He is the CEO of uh, uh, Billinium. This is uh, an IT solution company. It has uh, a branch in India as well, and he will be meeting the Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Sir, welcome to Beyond. It's great meeting you here in your office here in Warsaw. And my first question is uh, about um, the company, uh, essentially in terms of what does it do and how many Indians uh, the company employ uh, in India? We are a technology company, uh, IT company uh, that is operating globally. Uh, we started our expansion uh, in India, uh, in Pune, uh, seven years ago. It was a great adventure for us. Uh, we already employ 100 employees, but we have uh, potential for growth, probably uh, 200 in the very foreseeable future. Uh, and we strongly believe that it will be our gateway for, um, in order to become a uh, follow the sun company mm -hmm. that operates globally and supporting our clients 24-7. Mm -hmm. uh, so you will be meeting the Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi. What's your view first about India? India is the fifth largest economy. Uh, this is a country which is expected to become the third largest as well. Uh, what kind of investment opportunities do you see in India? Well, uh, obviously, uh, it's the capital of the world as, as far as IT outsourcing. Uh, it's a great pool of talent for us. And I strongly believe that, uh, that it has tremendous potential for further growth in, the, in this area. Um, taking into account uh, that it's still a democratic country comparing to, uh, to other giants, uh, I think uh, it's, a, it's a very competitive edge. And, and it's a pro probably a um, place to be for every IT company. So you will be meeting the Indian Prime Minister. What uh, are you going to have uh, in terms of conversation with him? I'm very honored and thrilled to meet him. Um, obviously, he is one of the leaders of the world right, right now. Mm, and as they say, with great power comes great responsibility. Uh, and I really... Um, looking forward to his journey, not only not only visiting Poland, but also other countries, um, Ukraine and, and Russia. So, um, so I, I I strongly believe that will that will impact uh, the world. Uh, so I'm very looking forward. Uh, what's gonna how how will it uh, impact the the, the world? Mm -hmm. uh, and essentially, in terms of the um, India Poland. Trading ties. I know you are an IT company, but as a business leader, how do you see the trading relationship between the two countries? If you can speak on behalf of the Polish business community, um, well, it's growing. I must say, it's. Uh, I I don't know exactly the statistics how how dynamic the growth is, uh, but it has great potential, uh, probably both both ways because uh, we are one of the fastest growing economy in Europe. Um, and it seems it's gonna uh, we're gonna keep up the pace. Uh, so I strongly believe that as a leader in Asia, uh, and we uh, uh, slowly but surely becoming one of the leaders uh, in uh, in Europe as far as growth, that uh, that brings uh, great potential. Even more so, uh, I also believe that we we have already very strong relations. Um, uh, between between uh, India and, and Poland, so uh, so I strongly believe it's a it's a great pillar, uh, and we can build up uh, relations between Europe and the entire region. So my last question to you: the Indian Prime Minister is coming to Poland. This is a visit coming after 40 years. How significant do you see the visit of the Indian Prime Minister? I think it's uh, tremendous, um, and it's it's really a sign. That India, it's it's taking its place in uh, one of the leading chairs uh, in the world. Uh, so I think it's significant. Mm, India, it's not only taking care of the local issues, but really looking at the and the global peace, uh, which is something that is very important. Mm -hmm. On that note, thank you so much, sir. For thank you. Beyond. Thank you so much. With video journalist Neeraj Patel, Siddhant Sibal for Beyond in Warsaw, Poland. Thank you.